look at business operations of the world today, a significant part of uh, automation is only focused on an action vector. But when it comes to any job, there is a, you take a set of actions and you also make certain decisions. AI can significantly help your decision vector to make better, faster, more reliable and predictable decisions. And that's what bringing the action and decision together makes your business operation much more efficient. So the way I look at uh, when you are selecting a partner, before you even select a partner, it's very important to understand what is the outcome that you want to achieve. And when you look at uh, you know a subject like AI, which is quite broad and the capabilities are quite broad, the partner should be able to understand your business objectives, create those end-to-end uh, -end journeys uh, live, and able to live that journey with you is very, very important. So somebody who's able to look at outcomes and able to bring both, uh, to have a strong understanding of the subject of AI, but able to also understand wh what is the objective and the outcomes and the KPIs that matters, bringing those together will be the right partnership which can take you to the next so level. So as uh, most of us know, data is at the core for any kind of AI capabilities. But equally what, what organizations are seeing is with all the digital uh, in, you know, assets and uh, uh, you know, integration possible, uh, the amount of data that you are getting is significantly higher than what you really need. So understanding what is required and what is the wanted and unwanted data is very, very important. And that is why the only way to know what is wanted is to have a clarity on your outcomes and the business processes that you want to impact. And then looking at data and how do you manage that data to uh, give that result is very, very important. Sometimes what we, organize, what we have seen is organization get excited about the volume of data, but then it becomes a huge problem to solve without really understanding why you are solving it. There are two aspects to it. The, uh, when you look at data management uh, journeys, people again look at bottom up. Our view is that you should look at top down as well. You look at the business strategy, you look at the business outcome and the KPIs. Then look at how you can make the data more meaningful and available so your data management becomes very relevant to the outcomes. Otherwise what happens is you have a vast ocean of data and you are trying to make sense out of the data through the data management. While it's important to have that foundation, but having a top-down view make that more meaningful. That's where we are focused on. Uh, when you look at uh, the pillars, the right kind of pillars that are required for any AI platform, Automation is given for sure and second key element is how do you enable organization to have a better knowledge management capability, ability to uh, look at uh, data and insights and create more kind of an intelligent mechanism to monitor and be able to act on, uh, you know, on those insights in a proactive manner is very important. So the third pillar will be more of an intelligent monitoring capability and finally when you have uh, when the engines are able to give you more and more predictability and more and more accuracy, how do you enable the, the, the machines to do autonomous operations so that you bringing all those four pillars together, then it becomes a much more comprehensive strategy to look at how, uh, building an AI platform. So the, the buzzword in the industry is called integrated automation platforms, but it is, it is important to look at those four pillars as a cornerstone of that entire platform. That is how we look at it. For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.